welcome back, everyone, to another edition of Rudy's Rant, where we come on here and keeping it real, because keeping it real is what we do. I might make that my new tagline. Keeping it real and keeping it real is what we do, because that's what we do and how we do it. I come correct right in your face, as you already know. So let's come up with a tagline. Give me y'all opinions. I want to get y'all opinions on what my tagline should be. If you give me a tagline, drop it in the comment. Let me know what you think I should call tagline Rudy's rant as. Because you know how my boy Ben Daniel does calling a spade a spade. Give me what you think I should make my tagline. I want to get your opinion. I don't know. Let me, let's, let's make this a competition. Let's make it a competition. Bring me your best. Let's talk about it. Let's see what we do. Maybe we could. Hey, you know what? Bring you on the next show. What do you think? If that's not good enough, let's come up with some other idea. But hey, give me your opinions on what my tagline should be. But I can tell you this, you know I'm always coming correct. Whoo, boy. WNBA releases another award the other day. And uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They call it the WNBA Six Woman of the Year. It went to Tiffany Hayes for the Las Vegas Aces, who averaged a grand old 9.5 points per game. Beyond the fact that in the NBA, I don't know that there's been a player in the last three decades who's averaged 9.5 points per game as a sixth man of the year, which shows you the problem with talent in the WNBA. The WNBA had an award that used to be called the sixth woman of the year. Up. Apparently, and that was up until 2020, it was called the sixth woman of the year. This is courtesy of Outkick.com. In 2021, Kelsey Plum is awarded the sixth player of the year. Isn't the league called the WNBA? the Women's National Basketball Association. I, I mean, isn't that, isn't that what the W stands for? Women? Woman? Women? This league has hit levels of activism that erase women from the flipping sport. They have hit a level of lunacy where they erase women from women's basketball. You cannot make this up. And they have created something that I am telling you right now is going to come back and bite them in the proverbial ass. In a WNBA press release in 2021, there were several mentions of the sixth woman of the year even though the headline read Kelsey Plum named 2021 Kia WNBA sixth player of the year. This is all again, courtesy of Outkick. Outkick, thank you very much for this information. And I will link this story in the bio, in the, in the description. However, that changed in 2022 when Brianna Jones won the award and the word woman is not used a single time in the official WNBA press release. Sixth player of the year. <clears throat> and then this year, ABC 13, KN, KTNV in Vegas, Channel 13 for Vegas. I guess it's an ABC network. Tiffany, Las Vegas Aces guard, Tiffany Hayes has been named the WNBA sixth person of the year. Alki reached out to the WNBA. And now they've clarified that it is called the sixth player of the year, and the use of sixth person is incorrect. But when asked about why the name of the award was changed, the WNBA did not respond. 
So let's ask ourselves why this matters. You got Brittany Griner who calls herself Pops Ye instead of Mom. She sounds like a man. She's more masculine than the most men that walk around. I've never heard a woman call Pops before. Have you? Brittany Griner doesn't see herself as a woman. She doesn't view herself as a woman. She views herself as a man. So the WMA doesn't want to discriminate against the women who might win the award by calling them women. That's from Outkick. And I love that line. So you're a woman, born a woman, and you don't want to be referred to as a woman. So how about we do this? We are now in a generation and a society now that has been completely overrun by the lunatics of the world. Yes, the lunatics of the world. Look, I have all the respect in the world for people who are LGBT, LGBTQ, whatever. I have a stepdaughter who was the L, lesbian. No problem. Whatever. Whatever floats her boat. But don't sit here and tell me that you remove the word woman from the Women's National Basketball Association. So why are we even calling it the WNBA? Why not? How about how about this? How about this? By now you have seen the stuff that Dwight Howard, former NBA star, has been involved in. Sued for stuff. Responses are that it was all consensual. What does that mean? That means that Dwight Howard likes dudes. He might also like women because he has a lot of kids, but he's got no problem playing the field. He's got no problem going both ways. Whatever floats, whatever floats your boat, my man, it's all good. You do you. What if Dwight Howard today says, you know, I don't feel like a man. I am a woman. I'm a woman. And Dwight Howard says, you know what? I want to go play in the WNBA because I feel like a woman. Heck, you don't even name the damn sixth player of the year, the sixth woman of the year anymore because you're removing women from the W. So how about we now take, again, since this league is so filled with activism and we don't care what, who, when, wh whatever. When are we going to see the first male player who decides that he is a woman play professional basketball amongst women? I guarantee you. The day that happens, the day that there is a man who presses the button and poses the issue and challenges them on their bullshit. Because you know what? It's real cute when it's swimmers. It's real cute when that one swimmer in the NCAA decided that I'm a female and I'm going to freaking go swim against girls, but I'm a male and amongst men, I got my ass kicked. But against females, I won the national championship. I mean, I'm sorry, I got a hair. So I got a shape. Nah, no. I won in a national championship and finishing top 10 in all my almost everything that I'm doing, where when I was amongst men, I was getting my shit split in that pool. I was getting whooped. So I decided I'm going to be a female now. And guess what? I'm going to kick females' asses. How about when we have the next man decide, you know what? I'm going to go run races against Carrie Richardson and Gabby Thomas. And y'all 21 eights and y'all 10 sevens get blown out the building by this guy running a 9-9 because he decided today he was a woman. Or a 19.8 in the 200. Dwight Howard, if that man decides tomorrow, I feel like a woman, I'm going to go play women's basketball. But hey, they took the W out of women. We're no longer, we, we are accepting of everything. Dwight Howard will go in there and dunk on people's heads and average 100 points per game. It would be the greatest abomination of sport. And you would then hear all these uh, activist women saying, this is not fair. How dare you? 
Bob Griner would not like this very much getting smashed on by Dwight Howard, who could now refer to himself as Superwoman instead of Superman. This is the league that they're creating. It's going to happen. It might not be next year. It might not be the year after. But at some point, the same shit that other women deal with, women who are primarily heterosexual, because it's happening in swimming, soccer, track, volleyball. These are all primarily fem, feminine sports. Women who like men. Women who date men. Yes, there are a few that are not. That's fine. The vast majority are heterosexual. Which is why they have a problem with swimming against a biological man or playing volleyball against a biological man. Do you know the damage that could be done on a volleyball court? There's a volleyball player at San Jose State right now who is transgendered. There are teams that are forfeiting games against them because they don't want to risk getting hurt. Because at the end of the day, a man is typically way stronger than a woman. This is a political thing, I mean, obviously. But if I had a daughter who played sport, sports, there's no way in the world that I would want her competing against boys. I have a big enough issue with it, with the fact that my kids play rec soccer and they allow girls into the rec soccer league, whereas there is an actual girls soccer league within this within the park. So rather than having a boys and a girls, they do a girls and then they do a co-ed. And the co-ed basically consists of 150 boys and maybe 20 girls. Most of those girls can't play a lick. There's a few that are good. But most of them cannot compete. Don't even belong out there. They're not fast enough. They're not strong enough. They're not big enough. I've watched it. I've lived it. I've coached it. We are creating a dynamic in this country that is so off the wall. And we have the leader of it, the WNBA, removing women from the award. The sixth woman of the year. Because we don't want to offend a woman who decided that she doesn't want to be known as a woman anymore. So how about we start allowing men who don't want to be associated as being men anymore play in the WNBA? Because I promise to God the day that happens, you will hear every one of these activist female basketball players say, this is not fair. I do not appreciate this. This is our league, not yours. Well, that's not what you've indicated. Your own league is doing it. This is an abomination. For all that, you might as well call it the sixth man of the year. Because at the end of the day, we're all mankind. So call it the sixth man of the year. You know what? No one would have even noticed it if they called it the sixth man of the year from the day it started. It's when you change the name, which makes it so glaring in your face. But again, no one noticed two or three years ago either because nobody cared. Now people are watching. So now we're like, wait, 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 wait. You named the award the sixth person or sixth player of the year, not the sixth woman of the year? Why is that? (sighs) Hell if I know. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. What do you think of the WNBA removing woman from the sixth woman of the year? What are your thoughts? Let me know what you think. Drop a like. Pound the like button. Subscribe, hit that bell, share this video. Come on now.